Page number three. If the length of a rectangle is 5 feet longer than twice the width and the perimeter is 80, find the dimensions of the rectangle. Now this one, this one there's one like this on the, uh, on the review sheet there. So this will help you uh, <clears throat> hopefully on that if you haven't already. It says the length of a rectangle is 5 feet longer. So let's say length is 5 feet longer than twice the width. How would that be? Well. If Twice the width, 2w, 5 feet longer, plus 5. So that's a lot like we have on the other one. And the perimeter is 80 feet. Find the dimensions, the length and the width of this rectangle. Okay, well, <clears throat> um, perimeter, what you need to know there, formula is 2l plus 2w. Yeah, perimeter is just adding up all the sides. So in a rectangle, you've got LW. So you've got another L, another W. So you've got two Ls and two Ws. So it's 2L plus 2W is the perimeter of a rectangle. All right, well, this is kind of like a substitution, isn't it? <clears throat> I know the L is uh, 2W plus 5. So can't that go in place of L? 2 times the 2w plus 5 plus in the other 2w and then we know the perimeter is 80 so that's our that's our formula right there 2 times 2w plus 5 plus 2w 80 equals that you with me on that so yeah that's just uh, distribute right 4w plus uh, 2 times 5 would be 10 plus 2w so that's 80 equals, got W, W, so that would be 6W plus 10. Subtract the 10, and that's 70 equals 6W. Divide by 6, and that does reduce. Uh, that's not a nice one, but uh, reduces by 2, 35 thirds. which is, uh, yeah, 35 thirds, let's just say that. Then the length is 2w plus 5, so that would be 2 times 35 thirds plus 5, so that's um, 2 over 1, so that would be 70 thirds plus 5, so that's going to be your length. 70 thirds, we can change that, what is that, uh, uh, 22, 23, 23 and a third, I believe, plus 5. It's 70 thirds. So that's 28 and a third. Length. Feet. <clears throat> this is feet. The length is 28 and a third feet, 35 and a third, which you can change that to uh, over mix number 2 if you want to. Something like that. Question or concern on that? <laughs> we didn't have the box. So. <laughs> All right, number uh, eight and nine. Do those in a row here just to make a point. On number eight, we've got a triangle with angles measure x degrees, 4x degrees, 7x plus 12 degrees. Find the measure of each angle. <clears throat> well, there's a couple of uh, formulas you might want to remember. This is one of them. Angles of a triangle, the sum of the angles always is... 180, yeah, always. Doesn't matter what triangle it is, it's always 180, sum them. So I'm going to add these angles, right? X plus 4X plus 7X plus 12, and that's going to equal 180. <clears throat> yeah. <clears throat> 
So what do we got here? 1x, 4x, and 7x is 12x. Plus 12 equals 180. Subtract the 12, and we've got 12x equals 168. So we divide by 12, and we've got x equals, looks like, 14. So the angles would be, that would be 14 degrees. 4x would be, 4 times 14 would be 56 degrees. And then 7x plus 12. The other angle, well, 7 times 14 is 98. Plus 12 would be 110. Did I do that right? 14, 56, 110. Cool. All right, let's compare and contrast that to number 9. On number 9, we've got a right triangle. And one side is 15 meters. The hypotenuse is 30 meters. What's the other side? Is that the same formula? No, this is a right triangle and we're dealing with sides. That's angles of a triangle. That's different. What do we know about the sides of a right triangle? What formula is that? Pythagorean theorem. A squared plus B squared equals C squared. Yeah, so it's a different formula than number eights is. <coughs> and if nothing else, draw draw the thing out at a right triangle. One side's 15, the hypotenuse is 30, yeah. <clears throat> which one is A, which one's B, and which one's C? Well, <clears throat> really the one of real importance is the C, getting it right. Doesn't the 30 have to be the C? The longest side has to be the C. Since it's hypotenuse that's got to be C. We can call this one A, and so we're looking for the B. So we've got 15 squared for A squared. B squared, I don't know. C squared, I've got 30 squared. So I have, don't I, uh, 225 here, plus B squared equals 30 squared is 900. What do I do with that? Subtract the 225, and so B squared equals 675. Then I square root it, don't I? Square root of 675. 675. Did I do that right? 25.98, basically 26. How about that? Not too bad? Okay. Number 10. <clears throat> uh, <clears throat> how do you give your answer? Just depends on how, it's, if it doesn't say, um, you know, you're free, but free to do what you want, but if. Uh, It'll probably say decimal or one decimal place, two decimal place. It'll probably say. All right, number uh, 10. Remember this one, the ticket problem. We did one similar before. We've got two types of tickets. We've got regular tickets and regular price, and then student tickets. It says we've got four regular and uh, five student costing 54. Uh, six regular and seven student cost 79. Well, if we uh, say the regular price is X and the student price is Y, they're two different prices. What have I got here? I've got two equations, don't I? First equation is four regular five students equal $54. What equation would that be? 4x plus 5y 
would equal 54, wouldn't it? Then down here, we've got six regulars, so that would be 6x. Seven student, the 7y, equals 79. <clears throat> and so, yeah, this one, uh, this one's looking like uh, system and solving it how? Elimination. And which one do we want to eliminate? To go with the x's this time? Yeah. The LCM of the y's would be 35. The LCM of the x's would be, we could go with 12. You could do 24, but uh, 12 would even be better. So yeah, let's eliminate the x's because their LCM is 12. Now note there is, they're both positive. So uh, I want to make both of them 12. So I'd multiply this one, top one by 4, both sides. 4x plus 5y times 3. And then 54 also times 3. What about the bottom one though? Well, I want it to be 12, but it needs to be opposite the sign, negative sign. So I need to do negative 2, don't I, for the top, bottom one. Negative 2, both sides. So that's going to give me, let's go around here. Twelve x plus fifteen y equals one sixty two. That sound okay for the top one, and then the bottom is going to be negative twelve x minus fourteen y equals negative two times seventy nine is negative one fifty eight. One fifty eight. Hey, look at that. That's going to work out really, really nicely. Those that eliminate. What's 15y? It's a bad y there. Minus 14y. It's 1y, isn't it? Equals 4. So there's my y. That's my student price. Still need the uh, regular price, so just uh, do a little substituting, right? y is 20. Uh, y is 4, so this would be 4x plus 5 times 4 equals 54. Just substitute that y in. So it's 4x plus 20 equals 54. Subtract 20, so 4x equals uh, be 34. Divide by 4. And so x is it's going to be 8 point something, uh, 8.5. So we got a $4 student price and an 850 regular price. All right. <clears throat>